Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, wherever you are in the world, my fellow guardians. It's that time of the week once again. It's Friday. This means only one thing: the crusty, humming salesman of the nine. There he is. Look, without uh, uh, look, just look at all the people not giving a single full corn tortilla. Oh, look at that. We've got the Thunderlord exotic machine gun. We've got Heart of Praxic Fire chest armor for the Warlock. We've got Graviton Four Feet helmet for the Hunter, as well as a CD slash zero feedback fence for the old Titans, Titaniums, as well as your favorite legacy engram that kind of smells a little bit. But anyway, let's go in depth. Thunderlord, would you like to buy this? I would buy this if I hadn't got it. Look at it. It just looks like a slab of death with butter on it really doesn't it we've got accurized ballistics field choke as well as linear compensator feeding frenzy perfect balance field scout flared magwell and the exotic perk lightning rounds this weapon fires faster and more accurately the longer the trigger is held performs great and it smells and tastes great as well what more could you ask for in a machine gun Heart of Praxic Fire for the old Warlocks. Exotic perk is Praise the Sun. Further decreases all ability cooldowns while Radiance is active. Greatly increased agility. We've got increased intellect and discipline, as well as extra auto rifle ammo, extra sniper rifle ammo. Uh, solar burn defense reduces incoming solar burn damage and increased armor when using a solar blade subclass, which is handy, really, considering that it's geared towards the old Sun Singaruni. Graviton Forfeet for the Hunterinos. Elusive Shadow unlocks the Night Stalker subclass node shade step for free. Um, yeah, so you can press double circle or double B on Xbox uh, for that shade step shenanigan. You've got increased intellect, increased discipline, ashes to asset, my favorite, heavy lifting and better already. She'll start recovery immediately after orb pickup. Fantastic helmet. Um, it is still, I see it used every day to a very good effect um is it going to be replacing the old mlg bones of ao and all that kind of stuff no but i would still pick this helmet up it's a lot of fun you can basically run um your uh keen scout perk as well as have shade step which is a pretty nice combo especially if you're on longer range maps spit of sniping and pvp that kind of thing so yeah pick it up add it to your collection Otherwise, I may um, come around and urinate on your cornflakes. How's about that? The feedback fences for Titans. How about these? The exotic perk is Wrath Conductors. Taking damage from a melee, melee attack deals damage in an area around you. You've got increased discipline and strength. Rain blows increased melee attack speed. Uh, momentum transfer. Increased reload for hand cannons and rocket launchers as well. Go out there and see just how much use that you can get out of them. They look pretty damn cool, especially if you've got the dark below sunsetting shader as well. So, but if you're skimpy on strange coins, maybe save them. In other news, we've had a This Week at Bungie. How about that? We've got plenty of details on Age of Triumph, as well as some frequently asked questions that everyone has been dying to know, like how do you get adept exotics? Uh, are you my mum? What time is my dinner? And uh, how much is my pocket money? All that kind of stuff is answered on This Week at Bungie. We're going to drop a link in the description so you can go and head on over to that and have a good look. Oh my god, look at all the green notifications. I'm, I've got some st stuff to do. Anyway, folks, I will love you and leave you. Many thanks for watching. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic weekend. Guesses on the Trials map, as always, slap them in the comment section. Let's have a guess what Trials map we're going to be getting this weekend. Anyway, folks, thank you very much for watching. I will see you later, and uh, take care of yourselves and your mother.